Hello everybody and thanks for joining. I am here with you today on behalf of the Lixir Tools platform Software Best Practices Task Force and I will share with you our concept on a software management plan tailored to research in life sciences. Our task force comes with about 10 members at the moment and takes care of improving quality and sustainability of research software by producing, adopting, promoting and measuring information related to software best practices. Let's start with our topic for today, Software Management Plans or SMP for short. Similar to data management plans, SMPs increase awareness and act as a guide for everyone involved by inviting researchers to think in advance about the software to be developed together with roles and responsibilities around it. Different from other efforts, our SMP focuses on research on the life sciences domain, where software goes from scripts to full applications. We have focused on easy adoption and low barriers by including only a minimal set of questions aligned to fair principles. Our SMP aim at supporting, for instance, PIs when submitting proposals, project managers checking progress, and researchers coding a software-based solution. Let's have a look around our SMP, which covers seven aspects complementing each other. Accessibility, documentation, testing, interoperability, versioning, reproducibility, and recognition. We gather information for all of them via questions. The accessibility aspect covers how software can be accessed by third parties. License here is a key element. Documentation questions take into account the purpose of the software and documentation at different levels, including testing, using, building, deploying, and installing the software. Testing is a dimension on its own, as there is a broad spectrum of possible ways to test a software. Here, we are also interested in sample data used together with testing. For interoperability, we have one question related to standards for input and output data. Regarding versioning, we ask whether semantic versioning and control version systems are used, and which ones. Reproducibility is the aspect with more questions. Here, we are interested in releases, capturing dependencies as well as running environment, inclusion of input and output examples that can be used to reproduce the functionality, and reporting of bugs or usability issues. Recognition is the last dimension and it is related to citation and the use of permanent, global, unique identifiers for software and people involved in its development. To wrap up, we have now our first draft for an SMP in life sciences. We will continue working to make SMPs matching actionable, automate the process and gain adoption, and in this way, contribute to better software in research. Thanks to the audience for your attention and to organizers for having us here today. We hope you have enjoyed our talk about software management plans tailored to research in life sciences. Now, time for questions and comments. Thank you very much.